We've now had leaked renders of the Pixel 4 XL and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So a few weeks ago, we had a lot of leaks coming in for the Pixel 4, including an image from Google themselves. While they confirmed exactly what the rear would look like, we were still unsure what we would be getting on the front. Courtesy of OnLeaks and Price Barbar, we now have renders of the Pixel 4 XL showing both the front and the back of the device. Unlike other devices this year, the Pixel 4 XL will have no notch, no punch hole and no other new form of camera mechanism. This year it looks as though Google are just going to go for a big top bezel to house all the required sensors. While there isn't any symmetry and the chin is actually much smaller, I think this could actually be a great move for Google. I currently have the notch hidden at all times on my Pixel 3 XL, so it would benefit me to just have the bezel at the top and house some extra sensors. Again, it looks like they're going for a dual selfie camera on the front. The display is rumoured to be a 6.25 inch AMOLED display with an in-display fingerprint scanner. OnLeaks have also said that the hollow part in the render is for unknown parts, so this could be to accommodate for a 3D face unlock. Of course, on the back we put the square camera arrangement to house three cameras along with an LED flash. We believe the second camera is a telephoto, but the third is still unknown. The Pixel has always been famous for its impressive single lens camera on the rear, so it's going to be interesting to see the photography performance when it now has three. The back is again glass and it's pretty much expected that it will support wireless charging. There's no 3.5mm headphone jack, which won't come as a surprise considering it was removed last year. We've got a USB-C port in the middle with dual bottom firing speakers. Of course, both the Pixel 3 and the 3 XL are going to be powered by the latest Snapdragon 855 and they're expected to come with 6 gigs of RAM and run Android Q straight out of the box. The Pixel 3 was launched in October and released shortly afterwards, so we can no doubt expect the same this time round. When it comes to pricing, the Pixel 3 launched at $799 or £739, while the 3 XL was $899 or £869, so we can expect the 4 to be the same but probably a little bit higher. When it came to last year's Pixels, leaks were flooding in and we pretty much knew everything there was to know before the official launch, so it's going to be interesting to see if this happens again. Of course, if any more information comes to light, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Will you be purchasing a Pixel 4 XL and what are your thoughts about returning to the bezel approach on the front? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit that thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.